What's going on, everyone? You're watching Noble Droid Gaming. We are streaming some Worlds Adrift, where you're basically owning the skies, you're building airships, and you're PvPing in the sky, and also just kind of enhancing your character to be able to build bigger and better ships going forward. So I hope you guys enjoy the stream. Be sure to like, subscribe, show your support in any way you can. Really uh, means a lot to me, and it allows me to keep kind of plugging away and making these uh, videos for you guys. So, uh, so yeah, so let's get started. What we're going to do is I just unlocked a new Atlas generator, which allows me to build ships that have a little bit more oomph and can carry more. So uh, let's see what we got for resources here now. I don't think I have very much. Uh, I got a little bit, but, I, uh, well, a lot of it's crappy quality, though. See, you want to build something that has... Really good quality. So let's go see what we got here. This game is actually a lot of fun. It can be quite frustrating. <laughs> they've come a long way. It's still early access, but they've come a long way. So, I mean, half the thing you want to do here, of course, is build your airship, but your main thing you want to do is unlock as much as you can in terms of knowledge. So, what I mean by that is schematics. Uh, here, I'll show you. So, I'm going to knowledge. This is my current knowledge. This is how much I currently have to spend. I've already spent it, obviously, on these ones. But the main ones you want to look at are these guys right here, because they allow you to build more. So, I just unlocked the Skycorp generator. And the next one I'll be working towards will be the Skycore Atlas Enhancer. So the Skycore allows you to accrue 2,398 more lifetime knowledge. Just to basically, I need another 2,398 knowledge points to be able to unlock that, which will allow me to carry more on my ship and make it of heavier materials, thus getting through storm walls faster and easier. So. Let's hope we find some good quality stuff here. I'm not even sure if I've yet made it to a storm wall. I know when the game first came out, I found a bunch of other players, and together we all made a sand wall and storm wall. Sweet. Second here. A little tweet of the sound. There we go. Mucho better. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do is get rid of all the garbage we don't need, so quality to negative. We don't want that. I go about a three is bare minimum. I'm not even quite comfortable with three. Typically I would suggest, in my opinion, I suggest four. I'll keep that. Aluminum. Such a shame. We'll keep that for various stuff that may not be quite as relevant, so. That's the only thing I don't like about this game is the fall damage. Kind of defeats our purpose of being an air master is, you know, you bump into a wall. You have a grappling hook, but you bump into a wall and it hurts you. And of course you have that grunt every time. But what do you do, right? Guys, thanks so much for tuning in. I hope you're enjoying it. Nice relaxing day here. I'm chilling with my son, streamer kid, and we're just sitting here streaming. And uh, Dante was rocking Lego Incredibles earlier. It's actually a pretty fun game. He's quite good at it, too. So we also have to keep our eyes peeled for other players because it is a PvP game as well. And I guess people can get pretty nasty in this. I haven't come across any real jerks or anything like that, but... And anyone who might be interested in the game, it's it's available on Steam. So these generators here give you a lot of knowledge points. Now I've already gained knowledge, as you can see in the bottom left. If you can see it, you've already gained knowledge. So, but I'm looking for treasure chests too, because treasure chests, as they spawn, they typically have 
schematics in them. They also have um, schematics, and they have, like right here, for example. Oh, it's a good thing they have a campfire. And it's bugged because you can't just delete it. It drives me nuts. Um, I don't want to leave, but this should give me some points here. So let's get out of here. I don't understand why they have fires in treasure chest. Because you can craft them. It's quite easy. Alright, let's go up here. Actually, I want to eat some health before I get slammed. This game is one of those games that's nice, so it's not a it's not a shooter per se, it's not a super high fast pace, it's just a very relaxing nope. game. Again, it can be quite frustrating, but, but once you get the hang of it, especially with the grappling hook and it makes life a lot easier. As you can see, there's islands everywhere, and that's basically is you travel to different islands to collect all your schematics and stuff. And interesting enough, which unfortunately I don't find this a benefit, but all these islands are actually made by the players, which I would have much rather the developers make each map because it'd be much more, much more sturdy, the much more uh, less laggy, I guess is the term I'm looking for. As you get to different biomes, there's uh, different metals. I think the cream of the crop is titanium. That's what you really you want to get good, high quality titanium, and that way you'll have a really rocking ship. Okay, so someone's been here already. We'll take advantage of this. Let's just chop the heck out of this. And guys, thank you so much for tuning in to Noble Joy Gaming and Never Die Streaming. Really appreciate it. Please be sure to show your support. Like, subscribe. Just show me your... Just leave your footprint. Let me know you've been here. It means the world to me. And I am running my new system. If you want to check my specs, you can look below in the description. I'm rocking the... Ro the oh, I can't carry anymore, eh? Let's see how much garbage I've managed to accumulate. Four. Huh. Okay, that's one. We don't want that. See, that's the only thing I don't quite understand is why you get so much garbage. Well, treasure chest negative. All right. Ooh, wonder what's in there. Actually, I have a feeling I've already been in there, so. <clears throat> so, just so you know, too, you have three default moves or web for web verb. I can explain it. Tools, okay. Number one is salvage, so that allows you to bust up rocks and get to salvage stuff. And you have repair, so you can repair your ship and stuff, which is huge when you go into a storm wall because as you go into the storm wall, you're actually getting damaged, so you have to kind of repair at the same time. Quite tricky, but very feasible, it's very doable. And 
3 allows you to place parts when you're in your building zone. What I mean by that is you can build, uh, I'll show you if I can find one here. But when you're in your building area, you can move, like for example, right here is a shipyard. So when I start building a ship, a bubble will actually pop over it. And as long as I'm in the bubble and the items are in the bubble, I can move them and I can actually attach them to my ship. And last but not least is four, which is the main reason why I was getting at is four allows you to scan stuff and some stuff will give you knowledge, some stuff won't. So let's check this out. Let's see if I can take over this. So it's telling me I need to repair it before I can actually use it. So let's use the repair weapon number T, or the repair tool. This is another thing I find this game fails at, is when you're repairing, it takes so long and there's no need for it. I don't get it. it shouldn't take two minutes to repair or something like this when it takes... I could have just as easily built another one, but... For the sake of showing you guys, I wanted to show you. <laughs> so stuff laying around can get damaged by thunderstorms or by other players shooting cannons and destroying stuff, obviously. See, we're still going. <laughs> Feel free to join us in Discord too, guys. Okay, we could miss it. Built fixing that forever again. That's a something that they dropped the ball with that. I don't know what they're why they're doing that, but... Okay, so we're gonna build a dinghy because we're still trying to find some decent mats. Okay, so... This looks like a pretty big one. For changes. Edit ship frame, okay. So here's a ship. Yes, it's pretty ugly. <laughs> but it should do the job. Something small and quick and easy. Done. Okay, so let's put some... Like, we need some... And we don't have anything to work with here, really. Okay, so we're going to revert the changes. We just want the basic dinghy. So you can totally design, customize your ships. Okay, well, one way or another, we're going to have to get more stuff. See, ideally, if that was quality aluminum that'd be perfect but it's not so let's go get some more stuff <clears throat> if I have enough to build I should be able to build a chest uh, utilities makeshift storage again this is another good spot where you can really take advantage of uh, See, take advantage, but this is where you can burn the gear. The not enough inventory space. My god, there we go. Nice. What is it? Nice. Okay, cool.
cool. Nice. trucking for stuff and this will kind of give you guys the uh, foundation you need to build a build yourself a good ship what are you showing me cool something. Oh. Right there, buddy. Let's go for a flight. Really? One shot took him out? No, I didn't think so. I can actually cook these things and eat them, but... It only takes, you know, 20 shots to kill a big fly. Woohoo! There's another player down there. Let's see if he's friendly or not. Do I have lots of bullets in case? I do. Let's see if he wants to make friends. Because you can get a lot more done with a friend. I find that's where all games are going now is co-op and... Which is great, but I've always been more of a solo, kind of lone wolf kind of guy, but... So now the only concern I have is we are now sharing resources with another player. And there's barely any on this garbage island to begin with. So we need to get off this island. And it doesn't even matter if I just build a, a garbage ship, we just gotta get out of here. Put an engine on it to put a sail on it. Not to mention, it's very hard to do this while you're swinging. And they put most of the stuff underneath the islands, which I don't quite understand either. Because, see, look, there they go. Missed stuff. Just a complete waste. Time buddies are probably over there looting all my stuff, <laughs> but it's all right. If I catch him, I'll shoot him. Politely, of course. Who else close? I don't think I got anything that time. That is so frustrating. Let's 
to heal up a little bit. Also, if you guys have any tips for me too, please by all means leave them in the comments section. As they will be shared with everybody and Guarantee that other players saying the same thing as I am right now. Silent sucks. Hope you guys are enjoying the stream. I really appreciate you guys all tuning in. For watching Noble Droid Gaming and Never Die Streaming. I knew it. Garbage lid. Ah, oh, I want garbage and garbage. Oh, didn't just steal anything. It's okay. We're just going to take whatever we can just to get out of here because I really want to get out of this area. This sucks. It blows. Actually, can I make something? Let me see if I can make this smaller. Let's reverse engineer this. Edit shift frame. We want to go small. Very, very small. Too small, but just to get off this island, it might work. Yes, it will. So, oh, wait, I did it backwards. My bad. Okay, so we're gonna force us to use the garbage wood, and oh, we just got something decent there. All right. Now we're rocking, guys. This is definitely the smallest ship I've ever built in this game, but meh, if it works, it works. What a piece of crap. But like I said, it's just to get us to another island where there's actually resources to collect. Oh my god. That's small, okay. So, just so you guys know, this is the shipyard. This is where you build the frames, but you also need an assembly station to be able to buy parts. So, we need uh, an assembly station. Actually, I'm going to use all the lead here. It makes it more solid. There we go. Just so we can get out of here. Zoink. Okay. Okay, so I don't even have enough for a freaking... We're going to need to go get something. Because we need an Atlas Core at the very least. We need a helm and we need a sail. Got here now. So that force field that I was talking about earlier, but the, damn it. Why they, I don't understand why they do that. There's limited resources as it is. 
But the developers are actually quite uh, responsive. They listen and they uh, they listen to our needs and they usually tend to change it. So I don't know if they'll listen to that need, but the uh, makers of this game have come a long way. I gotta say. Tie this guy up in a pillow, man. Steel. That's good. Nice. That's a good find. Like if I could just get it before it all falls down there. He's only one. Are you serious? FYI, guys, the quality actually goes to 10. So it tells you how much crap I'm getting here. But again, it's quite... I'm only in the beginning biome. Where all the noobs are. So I guess... I don't think it's... Still don't think it's reasonable, but... I get it, I guess. Good thing is there's not a lot of PvP going on right here, so plus the time of the day too might be servers might be a little bit more quiet than normal. Damn it. You have a little rocket on your arm thing. It can really help out, but it's hard to master. Is it a chest? I think it's a chest. No. Well, anyway, there's rocks here. I wonder where that guy went, that other player. Probably said, screw that, I'm out of here. What I'll do for the next stream is you guys, I will have all the resources already. Since I had Casey, I would have, had explain, I would have explained everything to you already, so. Next time I do my stream, I'll have all the gear I need. But I'll still build a ship with you guys live. Now these things you can search and usually find good stuff, but I have a feeling the other guy already found it. Yeah. Oh, no, you missed one. That's where you can find the really good quality stuff. Salvage. There. Level 5 iron. Decent. Very decent. We got more stuff up here too, so. Again, guys, thank you so much for tuning in to Noble Joy Gaming. I appreciate it. We're playing Worlds of Drift today. It's a sky based MMO RPG, I guess. A lot of fun, especially if you can get into it. I find the learning curve can be pretty wild at first, though. Ideally, that's what we'd like to do is find... Oh, man, that's close. That can kill you if the tree hits you. Um, ideally, if you could find an island with a bunch of stuff we can, like, search, like, to get the high-quality stuff, we'd be laughing. So we'll see what happens. Healing process is so boring. I'm fishing. There we go. That guy's building too. 
won't bother me. Never bothered us, so. But I will zoink all this because we do need it. If I was more in a social mood, I'd ask the guy if he wanted to team up, but. within an island, my friends. Should have enough to uh, hit the road, so let's grab this stuff and we'll hit the road. Hit the skies, I should say. If you guys have any questions too regarding the game that I have not answered, just leave a, your question in the comments, and I promise you I'll get I will respond within 20 minutes. You guys take the time to leave a message. It'd be my pleasure to answer to ASAP. what we got here folks we'll get this jet we'll get this rocking so first thing you got to build is a sky core generator or sky core because you won't be able to get anywhere without it so sky core i'm gonna go for the atlas sky core which is your basic you need atlas shards those are those glowing things you've been seeing in the uh, as i've been digging up stuff Stuff is all garbage. Anyway, let's build it. So, let's use lead. Doesn't matter for heavy anyway, because it's quite a small, quite a tiny ship. So. Tip two, don't stand underneath stuff because it'll crush you. Oh my god, this does look like hell. <laughs> but it should work. I 
didn't have to look all that pretty. Okay, now we also need a wing, because that will allow us to move. I have a really good quality. I'll just build it all with lead. And for this little ship, we just need one. That should be adequate. And we'll put it right underneath here. <laughs> there we go. Okay, now a sail. Four, we'll take that. As a matter of fact, I'm going to build two sails. Happy little uh, rig. Okay, now we just need a helm. I want to get off this godforsaken island. Find a place where there's more resources and we can build a bigger ship. Okay, so. Oh, yes. We need a reviver to spawn point. Pirate right out of the gate and get owned. Nice, okay. Next. A helm. No, this. Okay, there we go. Stuff right there, boys. Beautiful. All right, we're out of here. Actually, no. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, we don't want to do that because he'll crash right into the side of the building. So there's no point doing that. Sorry, I haven't played in a while, so I just have to re myself with the controls. And my pitch is going to be very good because I don't have any horizontal wings. I just have the vertical one for turning. What the hell are you doing, man? You just had a little spaz. So that's a really good tip for you guys to just start off with a little, just a little dicky ship, just to get around from the islands. Because the first thing you want to do is collect as much knowledge, unlock your sky cores, um, and when you're ready to rock and roll and build a big ship, you're gonna want an island with a lot of resources.
kind of regret not having horizontal wings for a little bit more, uh, they call it pitch. I think that's pitch, right? When you go left and right, or up and down. Whoa. And that's one thing too with this game is you get massive leg spikes and they can last for like an hour or so. But I've been playing this for a long time, so if it wasn't worth playing and doing, I wouldn't be doing it. Go down, not sink it, but float downwards. Because we can't steer it down. I don't know if you guys can notice the flashes on the bottom right, but that island is getting reaped by uh, thunder right now. So I'm glad I'm not there yet. Oh my goodness, the controls suck. And I'm lagging. I just hope there's not a bunch of garbage on that island. So I quite look forward to getting past the storm wall. She's small and fast. <laughs> ah, Sky Master. Drop like a sack of dirt. Oh. <laughs> Having a rough one. Uh, so you have three options too. I can revive back on my ship, which I don't want to do. The nearest revival chamber, which would be on that island, or we can two, use two random ones. So let's try a random one. And the next time I stream this game, I'm going to be doing more co-op, so it'll be a little bit more interesting to watch. Now, where did we end up? First thing we want to do is look around, see if we can find any knowledge. I, yeah, uh, okay, we got fog here, so that's not going to make life any easier for us. It's got a pretty big island, actually. Someone got knocked out of the sky. I've already been to this island. I've already gotten all the knowledge out of those barrel things. So we can still find chests though. The cool thing with this too is the island is a lot of the islands have little secret areas too that you can kind of find if you go in certain... If you look hard enough, you can find them. That's what I tried to say. Excuse me. Yawning. Treasure chest. Yes, you can definitely build um, torches and stuff to see. I just don't have the bats on me right now, I don't think. Ah! 
Oh, I like to whack that guy right side of the head. Don't ask. He the grunt noises he makes. Why do they put that in there? So actually guys, what I'm going to do is, we're just coming up to an hour here, so I'm going to end the stream, I'm going to keep collecting stuff, and when I start the stream again later on, I'll have all the goods we need, and we will build us a fine airship. But again, this is just kind of a fun little stream, guys, I just wanted to, I'm still waiting for my Elgato uh, green screen so I can get my webcam up and running. So we can call Never Die Streaming kind of in beta mode right now. Ooh, what do we got over here? to salvage this. Hopefully whoever built this actually used decent materials. I have a feeling they did not, but we'll see. That's gas. That's fuel, actually, those things. I don't know what this is. Cool. You can also get gliders too. Once you get further into the game and you get into the harder biomes, you can actually climb gliders. So rather than falling off a cliff or dangling down, you can just uh, basically uh, launch your glider and just glide. Ooh, I got 25 knowledge. I never found that one before. So how are we doing for stats? Let's have a look here. Two seventy, so I do have enough to unlock something else. What I don't know. Let's do engine. No schematics, lots available. So this is something good for you guys to see too. You loot a lot of junk schematics. I don't know why they do that, but they do. Not a big deal. So that's an engine, so we'll go to engines. Scrap it. I wish they had an easier way just to tell which one's better. Actually, we can also do this too. Wings. Let's get rid of this. Oh, wait, 10k. We'll keep rid of this one. Unlearn. And that frees up the space. Now, you can also use your knowledge and buy more slots as well. I don't recommend it, unless you absolutely have to. Because you only need so many engines and so many wings, right? Get the best one and get rid of the other ones. The skies are quiet. We don't have any PvP going on. No other players really giving us a hard time. Which is nice. Get you guys to bear with me just for one second. I just need to, get, need to go get a beverage. I'll be right back.
feeling to do to get much better quality of the game. So, um, again, thank you for the like and subscribe. Sure you uh, I really hope you're enjoying it. I'm